right now. Today we are doing my Halloween haul. We are in August currently. We are shopping for Halloween stuff because tis the season. So I went shopping at, I want to say 10 different stores. Got some stuff, not as much as last year for sure. Last year I had to decorate our entire house for a Halloween party and just for decorations. I had absolutely none when I moved up here. So this year, definitely more toned down. This year was more like, what do I want versus what do I need? So you'll definitely see that I got less, but I think the footage that I captured in the store, if you're interested in shopping this year, I think I caught enough footage for you to figure out if you want to buy stuff yourself. So the first place I went was Joann's. They had a decent amount of stuff. Uh, I think all their Halloween stuff is probably out by now. Um, they had a lot of those like carve your own pumpkins, but they're like 20 bucks. They had a 40% off sale. Like don't buy anything at Joann's full price. My favorite thing were these potted planters that they had. They were like big skulls. I saw them last year and I almost got them. I thought they would look really cool out front of our house just year round. The only thing I um, really liked at Joann's besides like stuff that I had seen last year and just kind of like their normal stuff was they had these pumpkins with mice coming out of them that were kind of cute, but they were really expensive. I think they were $30 and even 40% off. I'm, I'm just not, not having it. You, you in the video, buddy? <laughs> this is Hex. He doesn't know if he wants to be in the video. He mostly just wants to get to his toy cabinet, which is behind me. What I was really excited about was in the bakeware section, they had a big sale on silicone ice cube trays, and I pour resin, and I make resin stuff, so I bought one of all of them. <laughs> this one is little skeleton, skeleton guys. And this one is shiny, so that means the resin will come out shiny, which is exactly what you want. Then I got some bats and some ghosties that have bow ties on them. And these were all marked as $4.99, but they were 30% off. And then I got more ghosties and some booze. Unrelated to Halloween, but I got these succulents because I've wanted these for a while and they were 30% off. These are not shiny, but... I think they're still gonna make some cute, cute resin projects. This one's covered in glitter for some reason. Ugh. But I got these little tombstones. I really like these. These I think are gonna be the first thing that I pour. I almost got more just because resin molds don't last very long. So I'm hoping that I can make some like cute keychains or something out of those. I got these witch hats and moons, which I really like moon stuff and then little cauldrons. And then lastly, I got these little pumpkin guys, which are just little different, different faced jack-o'-lanterns. So I mostly just took video of their Halloween section, but what I did end up buying from the just like fall section was I got a sunflower front doormat. And as soon as I put it, our cat freaked out. She had no idea. Like I opened the door and she jumped over it immediately. So I think she's gotten used to it by now, but I think it's really cute. The next place I went was Home Goods, and this home goods had some stuff, but not a lot. There was like a little bit of dishware. There was really just like a little corner set up. And then there was a big setup for like pink and purple Halloween. Uh, it was a lot of stuff I saw last year. I didn't really see anything new. And actually, I think I got some cauldrons last year that this year they made them, it looked a lot cheaper. So the next place I went was Michael's and they basically do the same setup every year. And I really, didn't see that much new this year from last year. Last year, I kind of bought everything that I liked. They had some cool like psychic stuff, but I don't know, all their signs, once you see them in real life, they look a little cheapier than they do online. And it just wasn't really anything I was into. And also I was hoping that this year I could get some black floral, but they really just had like a few stems. And of course, Michael's stems are stupidly expensive. They also had a lot of the vintage Halloween stuff like they did last year and like it's kind of, been coming back the last few years so if you're into those vibes by all means grab that stuff but I just think I, I really like like the darker vibes I really just buy mostly black stuff the thing I really did like was they had this carnivorous plant that you know looks like Little Shop of Horrors Audrey 2 but it was $50 and I mean it was probably like this big but $50. It was buy one, get one. So I was like, really, if I buy two, they're $25, but what am I going to do with two of them? So I didn't end up getting anything there. The next place I went was Big Lots. Um, our Big Lots last year, they had a lot of Halloween stuff 
in early August. I went back a few weeks later and everything was gone. Everything. So this year I was like, I gotta get there early. This is the second time I've gone. I went again last week and they didn't have anything. So this week I went and they had a bunch of stuff. Big Lots is where I actually bought stuff. So I'll have some haul to show you. They had a lot of the same from last year, but they had some like tweaks on some of the stuff. So they had the like mantle piece stuff. They had some of like the animatronic stuff, which is pretty cool. Some yard decor, some lighting. So I got some cute stuff there. Let me show you. The first thing I got was this pillow that says home sweet home. It is velvet and it is just really cute. It's embroidery and like a gold metallic embroidery. I also got more tombstones. I, uh, they're $16. The uh, pillow I think was $12, $15. The pillow was $15. So cheaper than Michael's. Michael's and Joanne's pillows are normally like 20 to 30. Um, I got, I think there's like six in here. Yeah, six piece. So three big, three little. I usually turn our front yard. We've had them have like a weird front grassy area. I turned that into a graveyard. And last year I got some tombstones at the Dollar Tree and they blew away. And the ones that didn't blow away were the nice ones that I got at Michael's. So I figured I could add some more hardy ones that won't blow away so I can use them a few more years. Lastly, I got this little hand. It's got some cool like engravings and some white paint in there. It's kind of boring on the back side, but I figure just as like a decor piece, mostly this stuff is just gonna become home decor. It's not really specifically for Halloween decorating, but I have like a palmistry hand and I figure this is another cute thing that I can just have on my shelves. So places I didn't record footage at were the Dollar Tree. I have seen a lot of good videos of Dollar Tree. I was really excited. I went in there and my Dollar Tree had nothing. I had some fall stuff, but nothing Halloween. I also went to Petco. Halloween is my favorite time to get dog stuff. Like most of my dog stuff is Halloween stuff. So I got him this cute little voodoo doll toy that he absolutely loves. They had some really cute fall stuff. I got him this magically cute jumper. It has a little mushroom on it. Also this, it says ready for the snacks. It is a new brand that they have I think it's called Ready that they have at Petco. And I thought it was so cute. Mustard is my favorite color. I got this sweater, so conspiracy theory about this sweater. I got this sweater at Petco and then I went over to PetSmart and they have the same one, but it looks a lot cheaper. So if you want the nice one, go to Petco. I think they were the same price. And then the last thing I got was this Happy Halloween Witches shirt. Cause he, my dog is such a drama queen. If it is not 70 degrees or higher outside, he shivers. Isn't that right? Another place that I didn't record was at home because we went there a few weeks ago and I just didn't even think about doing this video until after that. But of course that was the place I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, they just put at home stores in, in the Pacific Northwest, so I'm super excited. They're like home goods on crack, which is amazing. They had two or three full aisles of just like different themed stuff. It was pretty cool. I definitely want to go back. So the first thing I got, are these, this was $9.99 and I got two of them. They're like a candle holder that looks like a bird foot. And they're like pretty solid. I'm thinking they're, Plastic, they're like a really hard, I don't know, they're cold. Maybe they're like a painted metal, but they sound like plastic. So it's a little ASMR for you. Uh, yeah, but I think they're really neat. The talons look really cool. Like the whole look of them is just really badass. So I got two of these and I figure we could put some lights in them and set them on the porch and hopefully they don't just get filled with rain and nastiness. So I don't know how I'm gonna combat that. And there's a little bit of holes in the bottom, so we'll see. It's like a crackle paint. It's not really like rusty looking, but they're, they're pretty cool and they're metal. I got this carpet that says Hocus Pocus. I figure I can put it in the living room by the back sliding door so when the dog comes in, he has a place to wipe his nastiness. And then the very last thing I got was this Zero. He's so cute. He is very large, if you can't tell, but I'm so excited. He's He was $20, I believe. Let's see, 
yeah, it was $20. So, I mean, for what you get, I'm pretty excited about that. And he will definitely be hanging up somewhere prominent. And that is it for my Halloween Come Shop With Me in August haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more from me, maybe subscribe, leave a like. Um, I really appreciate you watching this and, you know, stay tuned. Maybe I'll post again. Maybe I'll see you next Halloween. You know, it's really, it's a mixed bag around here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Before you go, I wanted to show you. This is where I'm recording in front of my board game cabinet. Pretty excited about this. This is my nerdiness. I'm a huge board game fan. So yeah. This is this is just my Seattle collection. You should see my San Diego collection. It's like a whole garage shelf worth. But yeah. Just want to show you all that. Bye.